Welcome to another episode of The Adult Potato. I'm Fiona Tater. Chad Spud is out, evaluating his life choices. So let's welcome our longtime resident, Spencer Lochka, to the show as tonight's co host. Spencer? Thanks, Fiona. Glad to be here. Let's get right to it. In that song, Millington News, that surprisingly isn't Wellington News, Larimer County's Solemn Waste Policy Advisory Council. So, solid waste like poop? I'm thinking trash, the landfill stuff. Oh, uh, well, that makes more sense. I'm with one of an advisory council to poop. Anyway, the Solid Waste Policy Advisory Council thought it's six to one to approve a memorandum of understanding for a 100 plus year agreement with, get this, Republic Services of all people to run and develop the new Wellington landfill. Comparatively, the county would own the property and set the rates, but Republic would build and operate the facility. Obviously, Larimer County does not read the Let's Talk Wellington Facebook page, and Republic is constantly being trapped, pun intended, by customers for their total lack of service, scrolling up schedules, and the way they fired employees after buying Gallegos. So, get a lock Larimer County for making money to look better than you for a change. The town of Wellington sure goes out of its way to not make money from adding restrictions up to pretty put it to making it possible to have a pot dispensary in town, to not issuing business licenses for the past two years. On top of not collecting licensing fees, they're also not collecting sales tax on purchases for new businesses. And then they cry poor when it comes to the budget for 2023. Not sure what that new finance committee is up to, but you'd think that pot shops, business licenses, AMSIC, sales tax would be the low-hanging fruit to bring some well-needed revenue to the town coffers. We can't place too much blame on the town employees, though, as... Not much of their time is spent on fulfilling CORA reports from trustees and their family members and friends that there isn't much time left to do their actual jobs. So we're sending our top reporter Pepper Fries to the streets of Wellington to find out more about our local small businesses and that how they helped create the sense of a community here in our little town. Pepper? Thanks, Fiona. We're here on our historic Main Street to talk to residents about some of our small businesses. Wait, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Do you have a minute to give us your thoughts on small businesses here in Wellingy? Now, first off, the election stole it. Okay. Okay, so let's get back on topic. Do you shock local and support Wellington small businesses here? No. There's no one to buy ammunition in this damn town. I have to drive, like, 30 minutes to get bullets. Actually, Ongar sells Inno, and they're five minutes away. Well, the shops here suck, and they don't... Well, they treat their customers like crap. My wife and I don't shop here. We shop in Fort Collins. It's not like it makes a difference. A actually, it does make a huge difference. The sales tax from local businesses help pay for everything from first responders to upkeep on our town properties to buying new books for our library. We don't need any of those damn pornographic books in our kids' library. We need a pickleball port. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you know what Nick you talk about on all the businesses? Oh, do I? Those kids at McDonald's are the worst and refuse to sell me mashed potatoes with my chicken sandwich when it's right on the menu in a cup. I parked my car in the drive through lane and refused to move Then I called the billies on me. The nerve. Uh, well, McDonald's doesn't actually sell mashed potatoes. Yes, they do. It's on the menu with the desserts in a brown cup. Ooh, that's I, that is an ice cream cone. Are you confusing mashed potatoes with an ice cream cone? Did you actually read the words next to the picture? 
I don't need to read the words. It's obviously mashed potatoes. I'm lent to their manager. I am not sent off a strongly worded email to the franchise owner about that teenager's lack of knowledge of their own menu. Ooh. Hey. Are you asking about local businesses? Um, I, may, maybe. Oh, the shops here in Wellington are the best, and the people here go out of their way to help you. I was in Thistle the other day, looking for a birthday present for a friend, and found a great pair of earrings and the floatiest lost candle. Oh, that's great. And the restaurants here are amazing. The fish and chips, the Wellington Grill is pure fire. The best. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Small businesses are the backbone of this community. Buying from them keeps money in our town, as the business owners live here and shop here too. I don't live here. Wait, you don't, you don't live in Wellington? No, no, my, my car broke down, so while it was getting fixed at Connect Automotive, I spent some time downtown. Alright, well there you have it. Back to you, Fiona. In Board of Trustees news, the marijuana regulation discussion for pot shops in Wellington was pushed back to a work session on the 17th. Conveniently, work sessions don't allow any public comment, but you can attend, stare at them, and shake your head disapprovingly, like you would at a stone teenager. But seriously, we are the little adults that voted in a dispensary years ago, and they made to get over it and stop making it harder for one to make out. The whole facade of this being a libertarian town is wearing thin on this topic. And that's today's episode. As always, thanks for watching and lock your doors. Mm -hmm.